Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another episode of SmackDown Live on the Brand Split. And we are back with the first SmackDown after SummerSlam. 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 It is currently 3 2 to Charles because his SummerSlam main event was better by one point. Yep. Lucky Ooh-hoo. bastard. Anyway, let's see what happens in the SmackDown. We haven't got a pay per view for SmackDown for eight weeks now, so a lot of build. Long build. Yep. Let's start. Or not. There we go. <laughs> that last. In a 77B minus, in an all star pre show match. Of a team of AJ Styles, Bray Wyatt, Alberto De Rio, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan defeated Dolph Ziggler, John Cena, Randy Orton, Zack Ryder, and Shelton Benjamin. And Bray Wyatt defeated Zack Ryder with, with Sister Abigail. And let's not get into these too much. Best in ring performance by John Cena, 94. And the second best was AJ Styles with 90. Not bad, not bad. Luke Harper improving technical skills. Shelton Benjamin improving in flying skills. All good. Next segment. In our opening show, it's the show opening, a 91A. We have all our main events in there. You know, just the classic intro to a SmackDown. Yep. This this segment also got the crowd hotter and got the show off to a good start. Next segment. Shane McMahon is in his office and says that we don't have a pay-per-view for eight weeks, which gives this brand a lot of opportunities. It's, uh, he also he expresses how he feels bad for the tag team division here, not having anything to fight for. That's why he's creating a tag team tournament, where which will build up all the way to Vengeance, with the final being at Vengeance. We will have eight teams in it, and it will be on SmackDown episodes throughout the next eight weeks. Uh, I should be um, putting the bracket on the screen right now. It will take a bit of editing, like, not much, but, you know. Maybe. <laughs> it's, it's a decent bracket, as you can see. Maybe maybe put some predictions from the, for the bracket right now. See see if you get any of them right. Yeah. Anyway, C-59 for that. And in our first round match... C65 and about had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat. American Alpha defeated the Voldemans in 743 when Jason Jordan defeated Simon Gotch by pinfall. It in English is not so to his gimmick. Uh, American Alpha would. Um, Jad Gable in ring performance 65, Jason Jordan 59, and Voldemans both 54. Tag team tournament storyline advances with this and also American Alpha advanced next round of the tag team. Goodbye, tournament. more villains. Goodbye. Bye bye. Leave you in the past. Next segment. Shane now talks to the women division. He has been he has uh, he is apologising to the elite women in the SmackDown roster for neglecting this division for the past couple of weeks, and he says that over the next eight weeks we will have more women's matches than we've ever had before, and the four women that impressed me in those matches the most will be put into a fatal four-way at Vengeance for a brand new female SmackDown Championship yet to be named. Ladies, try your best. What do you think? Interesting, interesting. In the next bout, C-55 with the bout had decent wrestling but little heat. Becky Lynch defeated Natalia Bice in 637 by pinfall with a pump handle slam. Big Lynch had an in-ring performance of 56, Natalia 51. Wow, Natalia's not actually that great. No, that's weird. Anyway, next segment. Derek is back. Derek comes in um, to Daniel Bryan's office. Derek Bateman is back. Daniel Bryan is is kind of shocked to see... um, Derek Bateman in his office. Derek Bateman back in the WWE. It seems that Shane made this signing behind his back, almost. But he does get excited when he sees him, until he 
realise that he realises that Derek has got a new, very cocky like attitude. When he realises this, as soon as uh, he puts him in the match with Shinsuke Nakamura, and Derek doesn't seem pleased. C65 for that. And the match gets a 70C plus in a decent match. Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Derek Bayman in 1141 by pinfall with a Samoan driver. Derek Bayman had, Derek Bateman had an in ring performance of 64, while Shinsuke Nakamura had an in ring performance of 71. Not bad, not bad. He will not be happy with that loss. Yeah, debut loss. That's yeah. Never great. Next segment. We have CF music video to promote Cody Rhodes. Wait, what? Wait, Rhodes is back? Cody Rhodes is back. C minus 57. Okay, I didn't know about this. What What's going on? What? Like, seriously, how, how have you got Rhodes and Bateman back? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh, 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 I'm going to have to do something around this now. In another first round matchup of the tag team tournament, the Bav had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat. Rockstar Club defeated the Usos in a C plus 67 in 832 when Heath Slater defeated Jimmy Uso by pinfall with a slingshot corkscrew splash. Jim, Jim, uh, the Uso was slightly better performers there, but, you know, who cares? Rockstar Club Slater. is awesome. Hashtag push Slater. Hashtag push Slater, yes. They have matching shades and everything. <laughs> that advances two storylines. Next segment. In a 73 minus, the answers put over that uh, tonight, that, uh, the main event will be Kurt Angle versus The Miz for the Intercontinental title after Kurt Angle made his triumphant return at SummerSlam. Excited? Yeah. The next segment is. A 77B minus in the decent match. Dean Ambrose defeated Rhino in 1309 by pinfall with a dirty deeds. Dean Ambrose had an in ring performance of 83, while Rhino had an in ring performance of 48. That was our semi main event, I'm pretty sure. Uh, minus the Come the Crowd match, which is soon to come. Next segment. Uh, C plus 69. Dean Ambrose is celebrating his in ring victory. Bray Wyatt, Eric Rowan, and Luke Harper run in and attack him. Well, not run in, they just, you know. Uh, appear. Yeah. Uh, like, lights fade out. They just appear. And what? Why is the Wyatt family after Ambrose? Does Bray Wyatt have his sights set on the World Heavyweight Championship? Mm. Probably. Next segment. We see Kurt Angle and John Cena meeting backstage for probably the, what the, is the first time in about 10 years. Uh, John Cena and Kurt Angle remember the good old times. Uh, when Kurt, uh, John Cena actually made his debut against Kurt Angle, they shake hands backstage with the utmost respect for each other. B plus 84 for that. Cool. Good sign of respect there. A 100 day start promo from Cena. He comes out. Um, <laughs> he makes everyone look weak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he comes out um, uh, all sad. He, there's no... You can't see me. There's no catchphrases today. He's apologising to everyone in the C Nation that he that he let down losing to AJ Styles, that he let down failing to bring down AJ Styles. He's truly sorry and sad about that loss. Next segment. In a 52D+, plus, and I come the crowd match and about that, sub wrestling and Little Heat, Samoa Joe defeated Reed Bentley in 056 by pinfall of a muscle buster. Yeah, just a job a match, random job a match. Kurt Angle makes an elaborate entrance and the main event gets a 82B. That's not bad. In the bout of had great wrestling and good heat, Kurt Angle defeated the Miz in 1606 by pinfall of an angle slam. Kurt Angle wins with WWE Intercontinental Championship. Dun dun dun! What? Title change on SmackDown. What a moment! And Miz had a greater in-ring performance than Angle. Angle's old. True, yeah. And the Miz is more popular for some reason. Hmm. What a moment! And who comes out to celebrate with Kurt Angle? None other than John Cena. And John Cena. 
and they celebrate in the ring together, Kurt Angle hoisting the WWE Intercontinental title. A feel-good ending to the first post-SummerSlam Smackdown. We end the show with a 86 B+. Same rating. Ha. This show increased our popularity in 37 regions. So it is still 3-2 to me. It is indeed. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this post summer slam edition of SmackDown. Please like, subscribe to me and Charles, and I should be putting the updated um, bracket to the tag team tournament after this uh, show. So, yeah. Hope you're excited for Vengeance in seven weeks. And No Mercy in three. Of course, for Raw pay-per-view, but we don't talk about that here. Yes, we do. Bye.